this. This is Carol Vadney while with the Rangers back in 1979. Carol, before we get into the whole cause here, is it true that you were once arrested as a suspect in a bank robbery back in the day? Yep, it was, uh, was in Boston. We came back from the uh, morning skate, and the cops were there, and they said, follow us. So I kept telling the boys, I said, why don't you tell them who I am? We just came from practice. It didn't look like a joke because the cops weren't smiling too much, and wow. all of a sudden they got me in the bank, and they, they, they put me up in front of the girl to tell her and, and say, is this the guy? I was hoping she didn't get too nervous and maybe <laughs> said, yeah, it's the guy or something. I am standing next to a cancer survivor. Carol, how has it been for you? Well, I got diagnosed with lymphoma uh, Nanachkin uh, in December 2006. I had treatment in, in 07. Then I went for uh, the autograph. I don't know how to say that in English. Uh, no, you stay a month in the hospital. They put oh. you down completely for your immune system and all that. Uh, I've been out since uh, October, uh, November 2007, and so far every scans are uh, good. So, touch wood. I'm doing it right here for you. I didn't know John would die, you know, pass away with the leukemia and all that. But when Wally Harris sent me the letter, I said that it was easy for me to come here today. I mean, uh, try to help as much as we can. Tell me a bit about John D'Amico, the NHL linesman back in the day. Do you remember? Well, yeah, I do. I remember. Yeah, I Everyone had, remembers. I just I want had, your spirit. I had a few fights, and uh, John kind of helped you once in a while in the fight. I mean. If you happen to be on the bad side, on the bad receiving side, well, usually the linesman would calm down the other guy a little bit and all that. So, uh, no, he was a nice guy. Always had a nice word uh, for every one of us on the ice, you know, like joking once in a while. I mean, you know, the game is a game. I mean, so uh, it's not always 100%, uh, you know, uh, concentrating. You know. So during a commercial or something, he'd pass by us and he would say, well, nice play on the last one. I mean, you screwed up completely, but uh, no, he was a funny guy. And his son Angelo is carrying oh. the torch because John was heavily involved in charities as well, too. I didn't, uh, didn't, know, him, didn't know him, but when I walked here today, I thought yeah. John was here. So he looked, he looked Oh, he alike. is here. He is here. Holy John yeah. D'Amico yeah. is here with us. Hey, when you look around, I mean, you were out over on the boards there signing autographs. When you see that sparkle in the eye of a child, and when you see them putting their skates on, they're just tearing around the ice here in Laval. What does that bring you back to? Well, it reminds me when I was, you know, much younger. Uh, we had a game once that uh, we were supposed to play the Montreal Forum. So needless to say that uh, we didn't sleep the night before and all that. And you see all those kids, I mean, those are the future. I mean, uh, who knows, I mean, what's going to come out of that? Well, Carol Vadne, you once played uh, in the original six. You uh, bridged uh, right up to the point where Gretzky made his debut. You played it with Bobby Orr. My goodness, I'm standing next to a living legend, but only because Carol Vadne is a cancer survivor. Carol, thank you so thank much you. for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Once again, log on to hustleforacure.org.